me. Here are a couple of more very useful calculator shortcuts. Uh, this particular problem here is for the population standard deviation from a list of values. Okay. Now once again, what you're going to need here is this very uh, favorite calculator, the one that we advertise as uh, the one for the course, the TI-30XS, available in the bookstore and many other places for less than $20. This same shortcut will also uh, work on TI-83s and 4s, but uh, this calculator here will do it for very uh, little expense, so you want to go out and get that. First thing we will simply do is to, the, uh, to hit the data button, and that's going to get up our lists here and we will just enter the numbers uh, from our problem down that list and so what we'll do is just simply enter that in 501633 in list 1 hit enter after each of those values and what you should come up with then looks like this you can scroll down through and make sure that you in fact do have those numbers entered correctly and that's really about the only mistake that you could make here here's what you do next watch this carefully first of all we'll press the second button then we will press the data button again, but this time, since of course we've pressed the second, we'll be using the stat function, one variable stats. Now at this screen, you may have to adjust this. Your calculator may already have this, but you need to move down and move over here so that we have L1 and 1 highlighted. If it isn't, simply move over with your cursor and then hit enter when you get on uh, L1 and 1. And then move to calculate, hit enter, and you're done. Okay. Now I'll show you both of these at the same time because there's another problem called sample standard deviation. The calculator is going to calculate both the sample and the population standard deviation at the same time. Notice the population standard deviation, sigma x, is number 4 on this list. Sample standard deviation is number 3. So in the problem that we have here in Alex, notice that the one that I brought up here was a population standard deviation. So we're going to go over here to our calculator. We're going to read the sigma x, which is this 2.08 number. Let's check back and see how many places they want. Two decimal places. So we're going to be able to put in here 2.08 and let's check it. Now, of course, had we been asked the problem for the sample standard deviation, what we would simply do then is just answer 2.28. Now, you can see these answers are very close together. And, of course, the reason for that is in the formula that you only have uh, uh, just the n minus 1 on the bottom. Okay, so give this a try. Practice this, and this will save you a lot of time.